If you thought the postmodernist plastic fashions of rock band Devo were just your thing, but you never found a locale that welcomed them, well, now you're in luck. A city in Massachusetts is telling residents who are currently face diaper free due to medical exemptions that soon they're going to have to go out wearing masks once more. And this time, there'll be plastic face coverings. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. Here is the story. It comes from Boston.com's Ariana McNeil, who explains, Starting on September 10th, the town will change its existing requirement on face coverings to add in the new measure, according to a news release. There wasn't an alternative to those medically exempt in the past. Boss, what's his fantasy? Uh, well, Tattoo, he wants to make everyone in the town wear face masks. Boss, that's crazy! I know. This is fantasy Brookline. It's so stupid. Oh, thank goodness for strokes of luck. Now these formerly free people have an alternative that will be foist on them by the government. It's so pleasant, workable, healthy, and downright moral. And the Brookline brown shirts were nice enough to explain their new man. I'm sorry, sorry. I mean, mandatory offering in a press release produced for them by the John Guilfoyle PR firm. So that makes the man. I mean, sorry, mandatory offering even more wonderful. The town has required face coverings since March, the release says. The state still requires face coverings in establishments, along with face coverings, gloves, and eye protection for workers, plus plexiglass in customer service areas. And the great thing is, now folks at Brookline will not only be magically saved from the virus that's no more deadly than the seasonal flu, they'll be ready to play troopers from Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. And that day is upon you now! All praise bureaucracy! We're saved! And real stylish. And as insane as this all sounds, it actually makes a certain kind of perverse sense on Absurdist World. First, this is of course Massachusetts. Cut your nails for God's sake! Infamous planet-wide as being one of the most toxically leftist states in the United States. Next, this is a town, well, it's considered a suburb of Boston, which despite once being home to some of the best local music scenes in the nation, has been known as one of the most laughably leftist cities on the East Coast. We're talking Berkeley by way of baked beans and Red Sox caps. That'd be in a smarty guess, all right? And finally, this is Brookline, which aside from Cambridge, is considered even more pompously progressive than Boston proper. So it does make a certain kind of twisted sense that the city guru should command face masks should folks make the grievous error of walking a few yards south from Commonwealth Avenue and stray onto deadly virus-filled Beacon Street. Heck, the town's own Ministry of Truth press release explains that Brookline actually was ahead of the state in issuing a face covering man I mean, offer back in March. And as I wrote last week when enjoying the wonder of Joe Biden repeatedly telling people he would love to see a nationwide mask mandate. We'll have a national mandate to wear a mask, not as a burden, but as a patriotic duty to protect one another. Something that Kamala Harris has since walked back. It's really a, a it's a standard. I mean, nobody's gonna be punished. Come on, uh, nobody likes to wear a mask. This is a universal feeling, right? So, so that's not the point. Hey, let's enjoy wearing masks. No. One need not bother reminding these folks about the Constitution or the fact that the most popular masks feature a warning on their box saying that they don't provide protection against the spread of the Wuhan coronavirus for those who wear them. And one need not bother mentioning that the masks are only for extremely limited use to stop viral loads carried on vapor expelled by the wearer. A warning on a box of face masks says they, quote, will not provide any protection against COVID-19. Because, of course, the N95 mask only stops things that are 0.3 microns in size, while the Wuhan coronavirus particle is 0.1 micron. Nor, nor should we bother 
telling people that since the fatality rate of COVID-19 is about the same as the seasonal flu, these Brookline Brown shirts could issue the same command every year, just in time for Halloween. And for goodness sake, don't ever bother mentioning to these bureaucrats and politicians that they're not just mandating these dumb appliances and gear for public places such as poorly lit outdoor parks, crumbling sidewalks, and rarely open government buildings. The commands from Brookline and the office of Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker apply to private businesses. The businesses that Baker shut down for months on end and in many cases put out of business due to lack of patronage. Don't bother telling them any of that because of course, these people will undoubtedly make the world safer one diktat at a time. Hey, thanks so much for watching everybody. Remember, like and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because sometimes for some strange reason, YouTube unsubscribes people. And please share these videos, especially about subjects like this, because as you probably know, social media algorithms don't look favorably on alternative views such as these. And by the way, if you get the opportunity, go to mrctv.org. That's mrctv.org because it's awesome and everybody there is doing great work. And if you want some great outfits and swag, go to mrc-store, mrc-store, and who knows, if you're in the Boston area, you can head on over to Brookline. Just make sure you have your, your Devo outfits too, because, you know, you gotta look good. <laughs> For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.